at 5 o'clock p.m. on December 15th, 1967. Point Pleasant was the site of the deadliest bridge disaster in U.S. history. A tiny crack in an eye bar caused 46 people to plunge to their death in a frigid Ohio River. The bridge was dubbed the Silver Bridge because it was the country's first aluminum painted bridge. Built in 1928 and over 2,200 feet long, the Silver Bridge was a major connector between Ohio and West Virginia. In its place, the Silver Memorial Bridge was constructed upstream. Where is that? Downstream. Where the Silver Bridge once entered Point Pleasant now stands beautiful murals that stretch several blocks long. These flood wall artworks tell the story of Point Pleasant's history. There are also several statues in silver in honor of the Silver Bridge, including this one of frontierman Daniel Boone. Lord Dunmore was a leader of forces that fought against Native Americans in the bloody Battle of Point Pleasant. His foe was the great Chief Cornstalk, a well-regarded chief of the Shawnee Nation. These guys should have invested in a nest or ring doorbell cam. This is a piece of the silver bridge found in the Point Pleasant River Museum. Because of the collapse of the Silver Bridge, national standards and bridge inspections were introduced in 1968. I hope you enjoyed this stop at the Silver Bridge, and who knows where the toll road will lead to next. Further information, I suggest reading the Silver Bridge disaster of 1967. I picked up my copy at the Point Pleasant River Museum from the Fout Sisters.